Angela Levine Reed has his Rye attack to ruin Jubilee, see if Harry is brave enough come on his own. Royal experts feel vindicated by a statement issued by Prince Harry's legal representative who said lack of police protection stopped the Duke and his family from coming to the UK. I've been saying for a year that Meghan Markle will never return to the UK. This is the perfect excuse, said a senior royal journalist commenting on the report that Prince Harry has applied for the judicial review of Home Department's decision not to allow him to personally pay for his security in the UK. Commenting on the report, senior royal author and commentator Angela Levin said, It certainly gets Meghan out of coming over for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. She said it would be interesting to see if Harry is brave enough to come on his own. And this year, when Buckingham Palace is hell-bent on hammering home the dual messages of continuity and the endurance of the monarchy, one of these hoary hats will play a central role in the ongoing transatlantic family ding-dong that has dominated royal life, and royal coverage, for two years now. Last week marked two years since Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, presumptuously threw in the monogram towel so they could move to California to make podcasts, well, so far, a podcast in the singular and to learn firsthand about what the mortgage feels like. Harry Strupoli taking pat shots at his family and Meghan lobbing accusations of institutional racism and cruelty over the palace gates. It is not much of a surprise, given this frosty state of affairs, that the Duke has only returned to the United Kingdom since for reasons of abject necessity, his grandfather's funeral, the unveiling of the statue of his mother he could commissioned, and that the Duchess has not at all. After all, it's hard to imagine her getting a rousing welcome from cheering crowds when she touches down at Heathrow. But all that is about to change because in less than six months, celebrations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, that is her 70 years on the throne, will culminate in a four-day-long weekend and all-round national knees up and there by her side will be her family. All of them. Yes, even the one who accused the House of Windsor of total neglect and the one who intimated her son was denied a title because she is biracial. Which is to say, the Sussexes' return to London was always going to be deeply uncomfortable. But now? Now, the Queen has made their public return to the royal fold that much more of an unpalatable prospect for Harry for reasons involving his brotherly bete noir and one of those absurd bearskin hats. On Monday, Buckingham Palace's staffers got out the good stationery and revealed the official programme for that four-day orgy of miniature Union Jackson finger sandwiches which will kick off with the Trooping the Colour on June 2nd the first time the big horsey pageant has been held since the pandemic started. Every year, the extravaganza sees one regiment chosen to, well, troop the colour, that has basically be the military headliners and for 2022's outing, the Queen has chosen the Irish Guards whose outing,
national knees up and there by her side will be her family. All of them. Yes, even the one who accused the House of Windsor of total neglect and the one who intimated her son was denied a title because she is biracial. Which is to say, the Sussexes' return to London was always going to be deeply uncomfortable. But now? Now, the Queen has made their public return to the royal fold that much more of an unpalatable prospect for Harry for reasons involving his brotherly bete noir and one of those absurd bearskin hats. On Monday, Buckingham Palace's staffers got out the good stationery and revealed the official programme for that four-day orgy of miniature Union Jacks and Finger Sandwiches which will kick off with the Trooping the Colour on June 2nd, the first time the big horsey pageant has been held since the pandemic started. Every year, the extravaganza sees 